In this video, we're going to be having a look at Caspa coin, Caspa cryptocurrency. Is this coin dead? What is going on after the whole ASIC miner happening in China a few weeks ago? This whole thing started to tank. We're going to be having a look at some news with Gary Gensler and the SEC. And we're also going to be having a look at a technical analysis in just a few minutes. But before that, let's dive in straight into CoinGecko. Caspa currently traded at 1.5 cents with a market cap of $286 million. So just under 300 million. And the volume has decreased drastically, currently sitting at six and a half million dollars. If we go on the market cap right here on the all time, we could see that this reached a mark cap of $700 million just a few weeks ago, right on my birthday, April 3rd, 2023. And this is exactly what's happening right now. The circling supply has increased drastically actually since we last spoke about Caspa. The circling supply right now is currently sitting at 18 billion tokens. So obviously the mining is very, very fast. And we know when there's more supply, that's when essentially the price starts to tank. So the supply is very, very high and it's only going to keep increasing. It seems like it's very hyperinflated and it's not a good thing. There's not a stop to this essentially. So let's have a look at a technical analysis real quick. We could see right here that Caspa did break a very important trend line, okay? We know the trend is your friend until events. We had one rejection right here. We had a couple right here. And then of course we had one right here, which we broke. Now we know right here when we broke down, we came back up, retested that support, which flipped into a resistance. Now. The question is, is, are we going to flip back above this resistance and remain bullish on Caspa? Now, the RSI did and was oversold right here. Now, we know every time we are below the 70, I mean the 30, sorry, on the RSI, we're pretty much oversold. And every time we are above 70, we're pretty much overbought. So right here, we were pretty much overbought. And investors, we know when we're overbought, investors starts to sell. And this is exactly what happened. Investors stole right here, sold right here, sold right here. And of course, when we came below 30, we were pretty much oversold and that's when investors look for an opportunity and essentially started to buy now right here ever since we reached that oversold region we actually made a 76 percent increase corrected back and now we essentially started a new trend line right here and the big question is is will this trend line hold right here and are we going to keep increasing to the upside i do want to have a look at some news before i continue with the ta real quick first of all the sec just i'm i mean sorry binance just suspended all deposits following the SEC lawsuit. That's obviously very, very bad because we know what happened with FTX. First, they essentially banned deposits, then they banned withdrawals. And what happened? FTX crashed, Bitcoin tra crashed, everything went berserk and pretty much the whole market crashed to, I, I think it was like $15,000 in a matter of like three, four days. It went from 26 to 15K. Bitcoin dropped 10K. Now, we know what happens when uh, Bitcoin crashes, right? Altcoins usually gets destroyed. So we know Bitcoin's king. And right now, when Bitcoin essentially took a nice little dump right here, it didn't make a nice little recovery, but the altcoins didn't really recover that much. As you guys can see right here, we had this nice little dump. It half corrected to the upside and then came back down essentially. Now, another thing is we could see right here, breaking news, Gary Gensler has been charged with market manipulation. Coinbase provides evidence of Gary Gensler placing 2.5 million in Bitcoin shorts just 48 hours ago. Now, the interesting thing is that every person who shorts on Coinbase needs to go through a KYC process, which is know your customer if you guys don't know that. So they know who's shorting, they know who's longing. I mean, they're not stupid, right? And especially when they have big accounts shorting $2.5 million worth of Bitcoin, they're going to know who's behind this and who's doing it. Now, Gary Gensler, what happened? What do you do? He ex essentially, um, sued Binance. He said that they were doing uh, manipulation and they were, you know, they were pretty much a scam and all the assets were securities and whatnot. And it pretty much caused a whole disaster. Everyone started to panic. And guess who benefit from this? Gary Gensler, because he made a 2.5 million short just six hours before making that announcement. For those of you guys who don't know who Gary Gensler is, he is the chairman of the SEC Security Exchange Commission, okay? So that's obviously, and then this guy is supposed to protect investors from getting scammed, from getting rug pulled, from, you know, just getting destroyed and investing in crypto. It doesn't matter what it is. And he, this guy, he's the one that says that crypto is a scam. So obviously, 
um, things are not looking too good. And it seems like this is, he, he's just a little psychotic in my opinion. So this is why he was actually, Gary Gensler was actually sued a few weeks ago. Um, the court actually sued him. So uh, that's that. So going back into Caspar real quick, we could see right here on Caspar. Let's have a look one second. Caspar, Caspar, Caspar. We could see the whole market, by the way, is currently in red. Most of it is red, I would say, but overall caspa is making a nice little return to the upside and the big question is can we see caspa go back to the all-time high now if we go back to corn gecko just a second it won't be the same thing if it goes back to the all-time high because going back to the all-time high caspa would wouldn't be 700 million dollar mark cap it would probably be 800 million dollar and the reason why is because of the circling supply increasing so the higher the circling supply increases, the harder it will be to essentially go back to the all time high. But the mark cap is still low, $286 million. Caspa is not proof of stake, it is proof of work, and they are doing block DAG right now. So it's very, very different from a lot, a lot of other projects that are currently out in crypto. So that is my short video, guys, on Caspa. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, leave a like, and I will see you guys in my next video.